So I saw Dankus making a video about factory conversion and thought that this is a great subject. Uh, I checked the video out and realized that Dankus actually plays the game instead of deep diving in spreadsheets and what's the fun in that. So today we will look at this from a numbers perspective and answer when is factory conversion actually good. So how did I go about doing this? What I have done is built an economy simulator of the Hearts of Iron 4 in open office with hundreds of thousands of active cells calculating every little nuance of the game so I don't need to open the game to do this kind of guides I can just push in a couple of data in the spreadsheet and I get a lot of results so what I did was I made three different scenarios for Germany one where I built civilian factories uh, during 36 and then mills onwards to the end of the game the other one was building military factories from the start and the third one was converting all my military factories to civilian factories, building civilian factories after that until 1939. And in January 1939, I switched to just push out military factories. So what I wanted to start to do now is to compare these three scenarios. So here's the spreadsheets and let's look into the scenarios and I will walk you through this point by point. So here we have the three different scenarios. Saves, then military factories uh, from 1937. We have military factories building from the start. And here we have the hero of the day. Uh, convert all military factories to civilian factories. Then continue building civilian factories to 1939. And then as soon as 1939 starts, building military factories onwards. So three different ways to go about this. And we have a couple of things to look at here we first have just one of the interesting things is the total output how much production you can build with these strategies so if you look about looking at template about production cost this is what you have your military factory output so this is how much you can build with your military factories this is how much you can buy of military equipment when you're producing it so if you see here, civilians, then the military factories from 37 is kind of equal to military factories from the start in your production into June 1941. So this is far into when you should be starting wars as Germany. But looking here, if we convert all military to civilian factories, we have a lot less of output. And this is really, really much worse if we go to the 1939, uh, when you should start attacking as Germany, you will have built really, really few things. Uh, and this goes on until Barbarossa time, June 41. Uh, even January 43, uh, civilian factories first is a little bit better now instead from a military factory from the start. Converting starting to catch up, but this is really late in the game. And it's first when you come into January 1944 that your total production output is kind of equal. As you see in the charts down here, UN41, you don't want that gray part which is convert all military to civilians. Uh, January 44, yeah, late in the game. Uh, and this is not taking into account what you should have conquered because you will be able to conquer more if you have more units in the beginning. But we're more interesting things here. Let's see if we can get this chart up and running. So this chart uh, shows you when this military production comes in, when it kicks in, because it's much more interesting to have 1940 fighters than having 1936 fighters. So the later you get your equipment, the better equipment you have, but the less equipment you have in the beginning to fight with. So the yellow dotted line here is if you convert everything, you see output per day goes down to zero because in this part of the game, we have zero military factories. We have converted everything to civilians. We don't produce any new equipment. And then we start produce and we see here that day to day production. Yeah, we have catched up and are way over producing in 1941. But the thing is, that since we had this this real slump, this non-production for a couple of years, we still come here and in 1941 we produce more per day, but we have produced much less during that period of time. 
Uh, the other two strategies, kind of similar. Mills from the start gives you more early equipment, uh, but you have it ready to 1939. Civilians then, military factories, yeah, gives you more late game techno to technology, late game uh, things to fight with. Uh, but they are quite similar. I would say building civilians is the better option since you uh, get newer equipment. But yeah, depends on when you want to fight. You, if you want to go to war here in 37, just build mills from the start and have fun with it. Uh, but this conversion strategy, yeah, it will kick in somewhere in 1940. But still, it takes until 1944 to actually go further having more produced than you otherwise would have and probably you would have lost the game by then since you didn't have any production coming into actually the battle of france and everything like that so i would say converting like this it's not a viable strategy uh, but people think it is and i think i know why because we have a little little part up here i think i can zoom in uh because the thing is, converting factories makes you look cool and feel powerful. Uh, look here, if we would have converted everything, instead of having 127 factories, we have 196. In 43, we have 260 factories. You feel way more powerful with this amount of factories than you would having 140 if you start building military factories from the start. But you look, look powerful, but you don't have the production. You don't have the production in the early stages of the game, which makes you have actual units in the game. So yeah, as you see uh, at the chart here, you produce a lot more. You produce a lot more, but you haven't catched up because you have this big slump in the beginning of the game where you need to catch up. So conversion, usually this is the thing that gets you. You think you have a lot of strength because you have those military factories. You might have double the military factories, but since they have produced for so, so much less time than you would if you have built them from the start, uh, they won't have produced that much equipment that you otherwise would have. But as always, most of you guys watching are not yet subscribers. We are almost pushing 5,000 subscribers. So please, it would be amazing to have a round number, since I love numbers. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, please do that. Because there's a lot of more guides there, a lot of more fun stuff happening. So consider being a free patron or anything else. And we would be eternally grateful. And yeah, we'll stop there. Back to the guide. Now you might start thinking, this is kind of boring, I wanted to use this for something useful, to do something fun with this feature, and yes, you can, and the US is the best example of that. The US starts with a lot of civilian factories, you can pump up a really heavy industry with them. I just started in 1939 start date, if you have started building them from 1936, you will have a lot of civilian factories. And you want to push in the US early in the game you don't want to wait to 1944 when germany has conquered the entire world uh, what you can do with the us is really unique uh, not everything because you have total mobilization which makes conversion cost 30 percent cheaper so the civilian to military factory conversion cost is 30 percent cheaper uh, then you can get this dude mr nelson which takes away another 20% of conversion cost. And checking out here, I think it's in wartime industry here, uh, you get another civilian to military factory conversion cost minus 50%. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Uh, and everyone who's seen me before knows that I think civilian factories are kind of perhaps not rubbish, but in the late stages of the war, you want military factories. And in the early stage of the war, you want military factories, because this is a military game. So you have the possibility to actually go down and draw 90% if we get the drop list here. So looking at the drop list, it should be minus 90%, and it is minus 90% in production cost now for each military factory conversion. But if you look at the actual cost a little bit further up, it's actually cost just one. So building these free, this is free military factories that we're going to convert. 
It takes one day and you have three more military factories. And this can be really, really good. If you have built up the US well, you might, when you think it's suited, go over and just converting like 100 civilian factories to military factories, making an extreme boost to the Allied war effort. And you can do it whenever it pleases you. You perhaps shouldn't do it in 39, but going into half of 1940, half past 1941, you could really push out extremely competent equipment. Yes, the 1940 tech um, fighters you can go with, 1941 tech uh, armor, 1940 tech armor, uh, and just push out high end quality equipment with a huge amount of military factories. So this conversion is really, really good. And you can go over to the Soviet Union because they have uh, kind of the same thing, but not as powerful. If we look here, we have total mob and we have defense industry, which is a focus. So you don't have really that kind of strength, but it's still really, really cheap. Uh, converting a factory with that costs 2000 instead of building a new one for 7200 and kind of the same thing and as the soviet union you might be in a real real hard time defending then converting like 50 military uh, civilian factories to military factories start pushing out new equipment could really really save you the game so converting is really really good and you have total mob for every country but having that extra 20 percent or like in the u.s case where it just costs one to convert it is really powerful so when is this useful i would say for the us primarily and for the soviet union in the second hand you can convert civilian factories to military factories don't convert your precious precious military factories to civilians so that was the conclusions uh we release one new guide every monday we release one patron guide every second thursday and uh, we also have the new expansion gutterdammerung just been released i've been starting to look into the more cool stuff there but yeah there will be guides about the new expansion and i can also say that i'm actually going to meet up with badger in one week time and since we live in different countries that doesn't happen way too often but we'll see if we can do something exciting for you to watch when we actually see each other face to face but yeah with that said i hope you have a great day and i will see you guys next time